Hello Aries viewers. So last reading I did, I was getting that there was unexpected communication coming in. Um, someone had some sort of epiphany. There was a perspective shift. Um, things happening really very quickly for you guys in this connection. But let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say about it. Let's see where you guys are at now. So I feel like... I feel like there's someone that you haven't really been in, in contact with, like you haven't been communicating, but you can feel their energy, like you can sense that they want to talk to you and it's been building up. It's like there's this tension building up more and more, <clears throat> but you guys either are not talking or you are talking, but you're just talking like a little bit here and there and you know that there's more that they want to say to you. So it's like, I just, I feel that energy where it's like you could just... You can, you can feel them around you, like you can, you can sense them, you know, and you're kind of almost like confused as to why they haven't reached out. It's like, you can just, like, you know, it's coming. Um, <clears throat> I sense a lot of psychic energy around this too, especially with all the planetary alignments we have right now, uh, where we're coming out of Mercury retrograde soon too on, I believe the 20th or the 21st. So that's, that's a good sign that we're getting out of that energy, but I also get a really strong, um, a sense of like like dreams and visions and like telepathic communication and that sort of energy like I'm getting a lot of um like spiritual awakening type energy I guess you could say like I'm feeling I don't know like I'm just feeling um like a major shift for you not just in love but just in every area of your life like coming into some really yeah see we've got <clears throat> we've got vision We've got Oath. I actually didn't intend to read the cards backwards. Well, maybe that was a message for one of you saying someone broke a promise to you and you intuitively know it. But I think I think for most of you it's supposed to be upright. Yeah, I just need to... Maybe not, actually, because now we have the Deceit card. So I'm like, oh, maybe someone did break a promise here. Ew. What is this? Yeah. That's interesting energy. This could just be a message for a couple of you because now we have honesty reversed too. So I'm like, okay, oath. I guess oath was supposed to be reversed. Hmm. Hope. What else? What do we have after that? Oh, sorry. We have reminder re reversed. I feel like okay. I think I get what I'm what it's saying here. <clears throat> this is someone I feel like okay I feel like there's more than one person for you actually I feel the energy of a couple different people because I do feel one person that's positive that you're kind of picking up on but I also feel someone um toxic here and I feel like they're trying to they might be doing magic on you or they might be um let me see this energy here because we've got oath reversed so someone who like lied to you or deceived you or maybe just wasn't mentally strong enough for you, like they weren't, because I see this as someone who's like loyal, strong, brave, someone who, you know, just truthful, honest, and got, has a lot of integrity, but it's like, it's reversed. And then we have vision and we have deceit and we have honesty reverse. So like, you know, honesty reverse would be lies. You know, we have deception here and it's like your intuition is telling you this. So I feel like you're, cha I feel like you're channeling two different people, two or three different people actually. And I think that you're getting their energies mixed up. That's really interesting. Okay. I, I see, I understand where this is going now. Um, I feel like you're getting their energies mixed up. I feel like there's some deception. Let me try to explain that. I feel like there's some deception that's taking place in the astral realm. Like I feel, cause I get a very strong psychic energy um, for you guys right now. Um, and I feel like, I feel like there's some deception taking place in the astral realm, like in the, in the, you know, telepathically, psychically, like in the higher realms, I feel as if like you're channeling two or three different people. So, so one of these people could be like a new person you've just met or a new person that's coming in. Um, could be someone you haven't talked to for years, but like you kind of feel their energy. You kind of feel that energy of them like coming back around. Um, like, you know, this person is the one for you, but then there also might be like one or two like kind of negative exes. Cause I feel 
the energy of someone like you start channeling your person like you start maybe having dreams about about your true love or kind of picking up on their energy and then this other this other ex is like no it's me I'm your true love and so it's like they're doing something to cause some kind of distortion and confusion astrally um like they're like they're kind of like manipulating the energy I don't even know some of them might be conscious of it some of them could be consciously doing this to you like through witchcraft but I think a lot of them probably aren't necessarily conscious of it. It's just like what their spirit is doing. Like maybe they just have like a deceptive sort of spirit or like, you know, um, negative attachments on them or something like that, that kind of make them do that sort of thing. Cause I, I just sense that energy, like they're getting confused about what you're channeling. Like you're, you're picking up the energies of two or three different people, and so you might need to cut the cords on some of them because that might be how they're still connecting to you. Like they might still be picking up on your energy and you're picking up on theirs. And so they're able to kind of manipulate you behind the scenes. Um, Cause they feel this energy of this person trying to come back around, but you're not really wanting to give this another chance. It's like, this is someone who like betrayed you like this is someone who like deceived you someone who maybe didn't listen to their intuition in the past like they they believed other people over you or they um you know saw the worst in you like they didn't you know what I mean like they didn't give this connection a chance they just kind of made assumptions and they were just in this deceitful energy and it's like they weren't they weren't on it. Like they could have straight up lied to you, but it's also, I feel like it's also saying like they weren't honest with themselves about this connection. Like this might've been like a twin flame connection and they might've like lied to themselves and like pretended like you weren't really their twin flame, like, like lied to everyone around them. Maybe like, um, you know, like destroyed your rep your, your reputation, like that kind of energy where it's like, they weren't like they just weren't honest to themselves or they weren't honest to you or to the people around them. Like there's just some kind of energy where it's like they're, they're lying. They were lying to themselves and it's like, you know, they have hope now. They, they, they know what they did and they're starting to own what they did. Like the, you know, pushing you away or like, you know, not understanding you or lying to themselves about how they felt about you. It's just this energy of like deception, just this energy of um, like cheating or lying or, um, you know, just, just not stepping up, not, you know what I mean? Like you wanted this like strong warrior type person. You wanted someone that was like loyal to you, who would, you know what I mean? Who would communicate with you, who would, who would be honest with you, who would, who would like make these vows to you. You know what I mean? Like you wanted this warrior, you wanted this person. And, um, like they were the opposite of that. Like that's who they might've, I mean, think in your eyes, that's who they really are. But it's like when, when you guys were talking, and this could be male or female, but it's like when you guys were talking, it's like they, they sh like you, you saw the opposite of who they, they really could be or who they really are. You know what I mean? Like, like they didn't make those vows to you. They didn't, they didn't have your back. They didn't stand by your side. They, they didn't trust you. They didn't have faith in you or the connection. They, they didn't stand up for you. You know, they didn't stand by your side. They didn't fight for you. They just kind of, you know what I mean? And it's like, you wanted that strength and that protection and that, and that love from them. And they just, they didn't give that to you. They just kind of left you alone to, to figure everything out by yourself. And, um, I mean, the story is different for everybody, you know? the story is different for everybody here, but it's like, they just, it's like someone that just really broke your heart in the past. Like someone you felt like was the one for you, you know, and you had this faith that they were going to get in this energy and that they were going to, you know, be your king, be the king to your queen or, or queen to your king or, you know, or queen, queen and king, king, either way, whatever, whatever your story is, you know, like, like you, you had this faith that they were going to be stronger and that they were going to, um, be true to you and loyal to you. And they just, they weren't, um, they stayed loyal to the wrong things around them. And I think it sent them down a, a bad path and it's like, they know how much they've deceived you. They know, they know that. And they have this hope now, like wanting to come back around and I feel like you're not really giving it another chance. Like, I feel like you are reminded of them. Like, I feel like there's moments when you do miss them, but it's like, you remind yourself like, no, this person just like, 
like this person just wants me because of what I can do for them or this person just wants me because of like because they've never met anyone like me or you know what I mean like this person just wants um let me see how to explain the energy I'll get into the other person too because I want to see what's going on with them but let me see what's going on with this person first yeah it's like this person likes what you can do for them you know but it's like, you know, see, we have Grove here, which is like healing. It's like good energy. I see that as like you were like their rock, their stability. Like you're, you know, you, you sent them healing energy. You supported them. You loved them. You were good to them. And then, but it's like they weren't really focused on you. They were just focused on other things. So it's like you were just going around in circles, like trying to help them and trying to be there for them. And it's like they didn't, they didn't give it, you know what I mean? Like they didn't, they just made you feel insecure. They made you feel ugly. They made you feel unwanted. They made you feel... Like, you weren't good enough. They made you feel bad about yourself. And there's still love here, but... Could be another fire sign. Yeah, but you're... It's like you're, you're making sure that it's... You're not moving forward with this, though, because it's like you're concluding it as hard as it is because, you know, it's just chaos. You know, it's like you're where's that reminder card? See, because it's like someone has hope here and it's like they're kind of trying to pull you back in. But it's like you're like reminding yourself like this person made me feel like crap. This person made me feel insecure. This person you know, like, this person doesn't love me. This person just wants me because they miss that healing energy. They miss, you know, having old reliable there. Like, they miss having someone that will support them and love them and be there for them. They miss that familiarity and that support. But it's like, you don't get the sense that they truly love you as a person. Like, they don't love you as, like, an individual. Like, they don't really... You know what I mean? Like, they don't love your, your flaws and your weaknesses and, and your strengths and everything about you. They don't love you the way that you want to be loved. They just kind of love, it's almost like a narcissistic kind of energy where it's like they just love what you could do for them. They love how you can make them look. They love, they love that you're always there no matter what they put you through or you have been in the past. You know what I mean? And it's, so it's like it does hurt. Like, there's still, like, this pain in your heart, I feel. Like, this energy does come up, especially when they're pulling on you so much telepathically. Like, you feel that love and you feel that pain still. Because you have a very deep past life connection. So it's like, even if they treated you like crap this lifetime, it's like you're still so connected to your past lives that it's hard to just completely forget about it. But it's like you're reminding yourself. You know what I mean? Like, when you start having that hope come in, because um, we had the hope card and then we had, like, the reminder. So it's like part of you has that hope and then you're like, wait a minute, no. I know how this is going to be. I know you're always going to use me. You're always going to take me for granted. You're always going to put me last. You're always going to, you know, do the same crap that you've been doing. And so it's like you're reminding yourself, like, no, I'm not doing this. But, but this is confirmation that, yeah, this person is pulling on you telepathically. That is them that you're feeling. Um, they are trying to pull you back in. And you know what? Like, this reminds me of, like, my own twin flame as well. And, like, what I always tell myself, because he's got me blocked on social media. Sorry, let me straighten this out. He's got me blocked on social media, and I'm like, I'm not even going to entertain someone that's not talking to me physically. Like, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, when I feel him trying to pull me in, like, I don't even, I'm just like, no. Like, I, I push him away, you know what I mean? And it is hard sometimes. It does hurt a lot sometimes, but I push him away because I'm like, especially all, like, the black magic and everything that he's done to me, everything that he's done to try to, like, sabotage me and, like, mess my life up like you know I don't I don't trust him I don't trust him you know what I mean um and so it's like I just I you know I mean it's I'm I'm an Aries too so I'm in this energy with you guys but it's like I always you know remind myself I'm like well he's got me blocked on social media he's not talking to me so like why would I entertain that you know what I mean because it's like he'll try to, I mean, I feel this energy that you guys are in, you know, this is that energy that you guys are in too, where it's like they try to pull you back in, but it's like they're not actually there. You know what I mean? It's more like an ego thing. It's like they try to telepathically pull you back in because they want your energy back. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, I know that if my twin flame really loved me, like if he really wanted me, 
if I really meant anything to him, he would unblock me and he would talk to me and he would clear, like, we would talk, we would communicate, we would figure things out. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, I trust him less and less every day and I, I remind myself, I mean, we all remind ourselves of this, like, because I feel you guys are in that same energy. It's like energy group, so I'm in that energy with you. I hope that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, this is your story, but it's like... I'm in that I've experienced this too so I can kind of explain it to you if that makes sense um and I can always channel Aries better than I can channel any of the other zodiacs since I'm actually in this energy with you guys but um but yeah it's like you know that's where I'm at where I'm like why would I enter like when I feel him like tell it like coming through my dreams or trying to pull me back in telepathically I'm like why the hell would I entertain that like, no, I want someone who's going to be, like, going on dates with me. I want someone who's going to be here physically. I want someone who, like, I can actually have a real physical world relationship with. And if someone has me blocked, then obviously they're not trying to have that with me. They're not trying to love me. They're not trying to be there for me. They're not trying to do anything. They're, you know what I mean? Like, someone that, that loves you is not going to just keep you blocked like that. Someone that really loves you is going to, like talk to you and figure things out with you they're not going to risk losing you like that someone that loves you is going to do whatever they need to do to keep you in their life and not just allow you to to fall away from them you know what I mean they're not going to just let you not trust them and move on from them they're they're going to physically show up they're going to show up at their at your door they're going to call you they're going to message they're going to you know what I mean like they're going to do something to keep you and so it's like that energy where it's like when I feel him telepathically pulling me in, I'm like, no, uh, uh, like I want a real relationship. I want someone that's actually going to talk to me. I want someone that's going to communicate physically with me. And it's like that same energy that you guys are in where it's like, there's love there. I'm not saying there's not, but it's like this person's main, this person, this, 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 this like for this energy group, like I feel like your people are kind of, they have narcissistic tendencies so it's like, and you know that, like, you know that they're missing you because they're bored or they're lonely or they, um, you know, it didn't work out with the karmic they left you for, or they, uh, miss your healing energy. They miss the familiarity. They miss the support they got from you, but it's like, they don't miss y like you, they don't miss you or love you like as a person, like as a whole, you know what I mean? It's like this kind of like selfish narcissistic sort of energy where it's like, they just want what they can get out of you. And so it's like, yeah, you have to remind yourself and you have to kind of be strong and kind of, you know, push this person away. Um, and remind yourself that, you know, if someone was like abusive or just negative, like just remind yourself it's because, you know, like your intuition is telling you like this isn't going to be any different than it was before, you know, like, you know that if this person really hurt you and mistreated you um, and they're not even like really doing that much in the physical, they're mostly just trying to pull you in telepathically, then it's like, you know, you know what I mean? Like you, your, your intuition is telling you that already. You just need to listen to it. But I do feel like this person is... Um, Sorry to get too much into that. I just wanted to clarify for, for you guys, like, that you are really feeling this energy. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you, you, like, channel them, and sometimes maybe some of you doubt it. And it's like, no, that it really is them that you're feeling. But I feel like there's two or three people. Like, I feel like there's actually one or two other people. And you, um, how do I explain that? Like, you feel their energy, but then this other person kind of, like, might like distort things or kind of like confuse things so it's like you're feeling all this different mixed kind of energy here what's going on with your other person fast moving energy chaos sudden turn of events nostalgia longing yeah someone's nostalgic for you someone's missing you and they want to come in really quickly there might have been a third party distraction, but I think that they're wrapping things up. I also want to say too that this other person, this toxic person, they can't they can't let me ask the pendulum. Some of them some of you need to cut the cords if you can, but can they block you from your person? No. I'm getting a no. See? They can't. You're protected. Like you you know what I mean? Like your guides want you to have true love. 
they want you to be happy. They want you to be with someone who's going to step up and who's going to love you the way that you deserve to be loved. So if this person is sitting here doing witchcraft on you or they're sitting there like meditating on you or trying to pull you in telepathically but they're not even doing crap in the physical world like they're not even really talking to you physically they're just playing it cool like they're not you know what I mean like their their magic isn't gonna work it's just not you know what I mean like they're like your guide your spirit guides are just gonna shut that down because they're like no you have to you're you have to you're physically you have to match what you're trying to manifest you can't like try to manifest someone back and then have them blocked or like ignore them or like talk to them once in a while or whatever they are doing to you right now you know what I mean like because it feels like that kind of energy where you're like okay why is this like person pulling me in but not talking to me and it's like no people think that like you just do spell work and you're just good but it's not really that simple like you your your physical actions and words need to match what you're trying to manifest with spell work so like I can't do a money spell and just sit here not doing anything. You know what I mean? Like I need to, I can do a money spell and then I can go and, you know, look up different side jobs or something and maybe something will come up, but it's like, you have to take action on your part. And so this person is almost going to have like bad karma because they're pretty much like begging the universe to be able to pull you in again and have, and have you come back in, but they're not doing anything to actually like be your equal they're not doing anything to talk to you or like make this happen physically they're just doing this behind the scenes um so like not only is it not going to work but it might actually end up kind of backfiring on them because i mean because they're just in that energy of like deception you know what i mean and it's like they're not it's like they're trying to pull you back in but they're not really willing to like do make any moves towards you in the physical world you know, it's just like their intention and their emotion and their, you know, having dreams about you and that kind of thing. But, um, but yeah, if they're really putting that intention into like pulling you back in, I really feel like, like not is it, not only is it not working because they're not doing anything physically to make it happen, to carry on that energy. Um, but also it's just not going to work just because like, I feel, I feel like they're going to have like bad karma from this, to be honest. I really do because it's like they're going it's like hypocritical almost if that makes sense like they're trying to manifest you back but they're not trying to do anything so I f almost feel like your spirit guides are kind of getting pissed at them at this point because they're like what are you what are you even doing <laughs> I'm like like love this person fully and and you know, shoot your shot and put it out there physically or let this person move on for good. But it's like, you can't, you're not going to just pull someone back in and then just kind of have that support, but not give them that energy in return. You know what I mean? You can't just pull someone back in and then just do whatever you want. Like, no, if you pull someone back in, you better be ready to love them and give them a relationship and, and, you know, communicate physically. And if you're not willing, if you're not ready to do that, then don't, don't try to pull them back in. You know, I feel like this person's guides or your guides, or maybe you both have like the same guides. I don't know. But like, I feel like they're getting pissed off. They're getting really pissed off at this person for trying to like control you and trying to pull you back in so they can like drain your energy and use you when they don't actually have any intention of really loving you. Um, so yeah, I just want to put that out there. Like this person is not this person that's just, you know, wanting to have their cake and eat it too. They're not going to be able to block you from this. They're all that energy they're putting into controlling you into being able to like drain you. Um, is, is it's just going to backfire on them. Their guy, it's really, it's kind of screwed up because their guides are actually starting to get pissed at them. Like they have guides that they connect to that really love them. And their guides are actually starting to get really pissed that they keep doing this that they um yeah so they're it's like I see like a reversing kind of energy where it's like their guides are gonna do what they've been doing someone's gonna control them the way they've been trying to control you someone's gonna control them and they're gonna use them and they're gonna drain them maybe like a karmic partner they're gonna use them and drain them and they're not gonna actually love them you know like, if they keep trying to control you, their, their guides are going to bring someone in that's going to control them and that's going to do the same crap to them that, that they're trying to do to you. Ugh. 
Because it's like someone's spirit guides. I don't know if it's yours or theirs or both of yours together, but it's like someone's spirit guides are just really pissed. They're really getting pissed. Um, Because it's almost like, like, get in or get out. Like, you're holding up the, you know what I mean? Like, you're holding up the line here. Like, you got to make that decision now, you know? Or, like, your person has to make that decision now. You know, they can't make it in the future. They, they have to make that decision now. Um, I feel like someone's guides are getting pissed, but they're giving this person one last chance. They're like, okay, you screwed up really bad, but you know what? Like, if you want this, prove it. You know, communicate, reach out, make it happen, um, and do it now. And I feel like they're giving them another chance, but I don't feel like they're going to have much more time. I feel like maybe like a month at most, at, at most, I think a month. Because I see like a fireball almost. I don't even know what that visual is. Like I just see like, I see my, I see like, I, I get like a visual of like the gods and goddesses like throwing this person's energy back at them like a fireball where they're like frustrated and pissed and they're like okay you need to make a decision because you're asking for this so you need your your physically you need to match up with what you're asking for and it's like they're giving them a very like almost like a deadline I feel like almost like okay we're, we're gonna give you like this amount of time like we're gonna you know what I mean maybe it's like a planetary cycle like until the next full moon or until the next new moon or something like that because there's I think that there's a blessing that's in store for you Maybe financially. There's just really good energy coming in for you. And this they don't want to, like, have you upset over this person that's not doing anything. You know? They don't want to have you in that energy where you're missing someone that's not there. So they're helping you kind of block this so that you don't get wrapped up into this energy um, as much as it hurts you. But it's like... Yeah, I feel like, I feel like the, someone's guides are giving this person one last chance to like let their words and actions and behaviors match what they're asking for like telepathically psychically um and this energy all has to merge but I feel like if this person doesn't act soon with what they're asking for and actually like reach out and, and do something to make whatever they've done to you right um and take that risk like if they don't do that soon I feel like someone's guides are going to throw all that energy back at them like all of it like their magic is not going to work on you it might not work on anyone like they're getting to that point where they're just like, they're someone. Their guides are about to teach them a lesson. Their guides are about to just. I feel that energy where their guides are just about to throw some stuff back at them. Cause I almost see like a reverse, like you know, like reversing spells. Like someone throws something at you and you like throw it back to them. I almost see like that, where it's like your guides are kind of letting a little bit in of this energy through, but just like a tiny bit, and they're blocking most of it out. But it's like your guides are kind of like, okay, we'll give you, you know what I mean, like you want this energy to work, okay, do something physically. And it's like, if they don't do that soon, it's like all the energy that they've sent to you, all the negativity, the control, whatever they've done, like all of it is going to come back on them. And they're going to learn some harsh lessons. And you're, you're protected though. I just want to put that out there that it's like, they're not going to be able to just have you in, on this merry-go-round forever. Your guides want you to have love. They want you to have a physical relationship. They want you to be with someone who's going to love you for who you are and not just what you can do for them. So this person like being a narcissist and an energy vampire trying to drag you back in for their own selfish reasons, like it's not unless they prove to you and your and their guides that they actually do really love you, it's not going to it's not going to work. Unless they can prove that, it's not going to work. They're they're going to have all that energy thrown back on them and they're going to be almost like it's like, you're not even going to have to do anything, I don't think. You're not even, you know what I mean? Like, their guides are just almost going to, like, put them in chains. Like, they're going to, like, like, bring someone that controls them into their life. Or they're going to, um, like, God, what would they even do? I don't know. I'm trying to think here. Or it's like you're going to see this person with someone. Like, they're going to see you with someone else. And it's going to be like that. And they, they can't. They, they can't touch it. They can't, you know what I mean? Like they can do all the magic they want. They can't touch this connection that's coming in. You know, they, when they're, especially with, with, you know, the having the wrong motives for wanting you back, they're not going to be able to touch this connection that's coming in. So you're protected. You're, um, this other person that you're channeling that, that connection is protected too. You don't need to worry about it. Um, 
And like I said, their guides are kind of entertaining the, the potential of you two being together a little bit, but it's like they're getting to that point where it's like they have a very limited amount of time to do something. And if they don't, it's just going to, it's going to backfire on them so bad, so bad. <laughs> um, I don't even know what would happen. I can't say for sure, but I almost feel like they might lose a lot of their power because if you're, I mean, that could go with anything too, not just with love, but it's like, if you're like, it's almost like offensive to magic, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Like if you were to do a money spell and like beg your gods and goddesses for money and then just like sit on your ass and not doing anything, it's like, it's like almost offensive to the, to, to your, to the universe, to the gods and goddesses and the angels, to the, to the beings you're asking to help with the spell. Like it's almost like offensive and like same with love magic. It's almost like, I mean, I never considered that before, but if you think about it, it's almost like insulting to them because it's like, you're like begging them for help. But it's like you're not doing anything. It's it's almost like asking for like a friend like, hey, can I borrow like two hundred dollars for food? Like I really need food, and then they lend you the money, and you're like, oh, I'm t I can't go to the store. I don't feel like it. Can you go to the store for me too? It's like, are you serious? They just gave you the money. All you really have to do is like walk over to the store, and you can't do that. It's kind of like that kind of energy where it's like, if someone's like doing all this like these love spells or love drawing rituals, and then they're like they're not doing anything to manifest love for themselves physically it's almost like it's almost like just offensive to the magic if that makes sense and so I think this person's guides are actually kind of getting sick of them like misusing magic and not like respecting the energy of magic more if that makes any sense like like they need to live up to the morals that they preach they need they need to practice what they preach they their physical being needs to match that energy that they're trying to put out if that makes sense so I almost feel like I don't even think it's just with you I think if your person practices magic I think I don't even think that they've just been doing this with you like trying to drag you back in but you know again just wanting to use you and and just you know missing the the comfort and the familiarity but not really like loving you as a person and like not really being willing to give you the relationship that you're looking for um but I feel like it's like they've done it in other areas of their life too with things like kind of almost like a spiritual laziness, if that makes sense. Um, like asking for things, but like just kind of being like, like egotistical and not actually like taking the steps to manifest what they're asking for. I feel like this person's about to be punished for that, honestly. Um, I don't usually say stuff like that because it's so eerie. Like, oh, they're about to, the universe is about to punish them. Like, it just sounds so dramatic and eerie, but that's what I'm channeling here is that like, like they have a very limited amount of time to practice what they preach to like get physically get in tune with the energy that they're trying to manifest. And it's like your guides aren't even really letting a lot of their energy in like they're kind of shielding you from it because they don't want you to get dragged into this and get your heart broken again. Um, but it's like their guides are giving them like I said, like a like almost like a deadline, like they have a very small amount of time when they can. Um, I don't think it's just with you. I think it's just in general. Like with love, with money, with everything that they're trying to manifest, like some might be trying to like manifest like a new home or something, like a new living location, like they're trying to manifest some stuff and it's like they're not really taking the action to do it. So I almost feel like, and especially if this person is like trying to block you from, from like this other person that would actually love you the way that you want to be loved you know, just because they don't want to see you with someone else or because they don't want to, you know what I mean? It's almost like an ego trip for them. And so it's like, I feel like if they just don't, again, it's not just you, it's it's multiple areas in their life. And if they don't step up soon and be the kind of person they're trying to be, I feel like, like not only are they going to lose you forever and they're going to have to see that, but they're also going to like lose a lot of their power. Um. I don't really believe someone's power can ever be like permanently taken away from them, but I almost feel like it's more like their power is going to be like held from them. Like someone's going to like, like their guides or someone is going to like hold their power away from them and like not allow them to have that power back until they're using it properly. And until they're really willing to like physically align with what they're asking for. Like you can't be trying to manifest a new home and not go house hunting. You know, it's that kind of energy. Like, you can't be asking for money and not go job hunting like or, or or try something, you know, like consider your options. It's like 
this person might have like a negative mentality too when it comes to those things. And so it's like the universe is kind of getting sick of like the mixed messages from this person. Um, but yeah, I feel like they would like have some of their power withheld from them. And like all the energy they put into controlling you and stuff, it would like fall back on them. And it's like someone would control them or they would just like, like their magic just wouldn't work. Like their magic, I almost say like a ping pong match. Like they try to like send out things to you or they try to like control you or they try to do love spells. And it's like, it just like backfires on them. Like the energy doesn't even touch you at all. You don't even have to do anything. It just doesn't touch you and it just goes right back to them, you know? And it's like they feel their own controlling energy. Like the more they do, it's like it's like there's like a wall. It's like there's a there's going to be like a wall that's built in the near future, I feel. And that wall is already being built. But I feel like your guides are about to put their foot down and just build that wall like stronger than ever. Like like this giant brick wall with like nails coming out of it kind of energy, you know. And it's like anything that they send out or try to do is just going to bounce back because your guides aren't even going to let that energy touch you anymore. They're just going to be like, nah, like you're not, you know, uh uh. Or not doing this forever, not keeping this person. Because they don't want you stuck on this merry-go-round forever. They want you to have happiness and love and, and abundance, you know. And, um, you know, this energy has held you up in the past. Because it's like it hurt you a lot, you know. And they don't want you to have your life on hold. So I didn't mean for this to get so long. Um, if you would like a private reading, my email is below. And I can look more in depth into the situation, into the new person, the old person. I did intend to look into the new person more. But we kind of, you know, the story kind of went with the old person, um, with the ex or whoever this is. But, um, but yeah, my email address is below in the description um, box. So just send me an email if you want a private reading. But let me look into the new person just really quick. What else can we get? So the, the new person could be someone new or it could be someone from your past that you're connected to that you're kind of like nostalgic for, but they were in like a bad situation that kind of distracted them. But that's clearing up quickly. Yeah, it's something you've been waiting and hoping and praying for. They are, there is this energy of overanalyzing, overthinking, self-sabotage. Maybe it's been a while since you guys have talked. Yeah, for some of you, this is an ex. Others, it's a new person entirely. So I feel like there's more than one ex that wants to apologize to you. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, and you can have this new start with this person. Because I almost feel like this other person is, like, more genuine. Like, they... Maybe it was, like, the right person, but, like, the wrong timing or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the apology is something that, like... It's not going to be like a manipulative half ass apology. It's going to be like, you know what, like it wasn't, it wasn't you. It was me. Like it was just, it was the wrong timing. And like this person's more mature now and they want this new start. They want to travel with you. They want that adventure, the honeymoon vacation. They want all this new energy with you. And like I said, this other person is not going to be able to block this energy. Because I feel like both these people are potential life partners for you. And you're going to end up with one of them. And your guides are about to stay, your guides are sick of the other person. And they're about to say, screw it. You're not even going to have a chance with this person anymore. Like they're about to put that wall up so high that they're not even going to be able to do anything. Like they're going to get to a point where they can't, they, there's no hope at all. You know, they're going to get to that point where your guides are just not even going to allow them in at all. You know, they're barely allowing them in now and just like a little tiny bit, but they're, they're getting close to that point where they're not going to allow it at all. And these are like like gods and goddesses and like an like angels that we're talking about. These aren't like little like oh spirit guys like oh my grandmother from the other side is mad. No, this is like 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 goddesses that are pissed. This is this isn't this isn't something light, you know. This is something and like I said, they're not going to like withhold your person's power forever. I just feel like it's more like they're going to hold on to it until like they stop trying to control you and hurt you. And manipulate you when they're when they have no intention of stepping up, you know, and and like when they're not, you know, asking for money or asking for a new place to live or whatever, when they have no intention of like going out there and making that happen for themselves, like they'll give them the power back when they learn to be appreciative and respect that power and respect the magic and align with the magic. That's when they're going to start having their power back. But they're never, but you're going to be protected from that. Even if, even if they do get to that point where they're more mature with their magic, they're still not going to be allowed to, um, to hurt you or drain you. Like you're still going to have like a, like a shield up that your, that your, your gods and goddesses and angels are going to put up and that's going to be unbreakable. Um, cause they want you to have love. They don't want you in this energy of waiting and hoping and praying. They want you to have this love now. So, um, so yeah, you got new love coming in or someone from the past coming back. 
prideful and stubborn in the past. Um, sex? Is there a lot of sex in the past with this person? Yeah, new perspective though. Something's changed. There's like, a, there's could be like a lot of lust here or a strong physical attraction, but something's changed. Um, with this connection, like this person is either someone new or it's someone who's just more mature than they were before. Because I feel like the apology, but it feels like more like a genuine apology. Like, feels like a really good energy. They just needed some time alone. But, um, yeah, but now they're coming forward. I feel like this person wants to come forward quickly, too. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. Like, they want to chase you. You know what I mean? Like, they, yeah, they see you as their happiness, their warmth, their light. They want to pursue you. I feel like maybe you've had a power struggle in the past or, like, fears of, like, commitment where it's, like, you guys have been chasing each other. But it's, like, now they want to chase you. Now they're appreciating you. Now, you know what I mean? Like, the hidden truth is coming out that they're, like, submissive for you, that they love you, that they're, you know, weak-willed when it comes to you, that they're, you know, enthralled by your beauty, that you're mysterious, enchanting. You know, all these things. All this energy is coming out. I feel like you're going to have a lot of life changes coming up. Um, like now and also just this year, I feel like career, love, just everything is going to be changing for you guys drastically in a lot of good ways. Um, and like I said, don't be afraid of that energy, that person, the, you know, the person that's trying to like drain, like do the psychic vampire thing on you. Don't be afraid of that because like I said, your guides are protecting you. Your guides are protecting you and they're, they're, um, that energy is starting to be reversed now where it's like they're they've been manipulating things so you haven't been able to figure out who you've been channeling but I feel like I just feel like you know I feel like there's some stuff taking place in the higher realms where, where some of your guides are really putting their foot down now so um anyway like I said if this resonates um my email address is below if you'd like a private reading my readings are fifty dollars for a video reading but my video readings are pretty long they're a minimum of 30 minutes but a lot of the ones I do end up being like 45 minutes or 50 minutes like I really go in depth into any everything for you guys um whatever you want to know I do pendulum questions and I do I channel and I also do um oracle and tarot cards um and yeah any donations are appreciated too even just a dollar it adds up quickly my paypal link is below and please subscribe if this resonates thanks